Hi, it's me again with Corel to all tips and tricks. Somebody emailed me the other day with a question that I could not answer, and I contacted uh, my mentor from Corel Draw, and I still have a little bit of difficulty understanding, but I think I've got it figured out. He wants to be able to have an object on multiple pages and be able to lock that object. So we're going to take a, well, we're going to make three pages, one, two, three. So if we go up to Windows, Docker's objects, you can see our page one, page two, page three. Let's draw an object, and I'm not saying he's gonna use a circle, but he wants an object that he can lock on all the pages. So we need to put that on all the pages. You see right now, it's only on page three. We're gonna go right here to add new master layer to all pages. Then I'm going to take my ellipse and I'm going to drag it over to that layer. Now look what happened. Now that object is in all pages. Now while it's here we can lock it. So if you look we can't touch it. Can't touch it. So you could do, you know, if I'm drawing a lake map per se and I want to lock stuff I cannot, I don't want to move. I mean, this way, you know, you can't grab it, but you could draw an ellipse and make it red and see it's not on the other pages because I put it on page one. So page two will make a square and make it blue and it's on page two. And let's make page three and it's on page three. So I've got a red circle, a square box, and a text. But I cannot move this if there's a, you know, you cannot grab it because it's locked. Now, if you want to layer, all you have to do is unlock it, and then you can move those ellipses on all the pages. And a matter of fact, it moved the ellipse. Let's put it up top corner it moved the ellipse to the top corner on all pages because it's a master layer. I'm hoping that was what he's wanting because if we put it down here and lock it again, it's locked on all pages. Anyway, hope that answers the question. Thank you for watching.